Good morning, everyone. Welcome to everyone uh, to our neurodiversity event, supporting neurodiversity and why the workplace needs to be more thoughtful. Joining us will be Dr. Uh, Christine Bruckner, uh, fellow uh, of the American Institute of Architects from M. Moser, and Lee Daniels, head of workforce and workplace consultancy uh, at JLL. Before we hear from them, though, uh, we've invited our uh, official charity partner, Best Buddies, to speak about their work to, uh, trying to end social, physical, and economic isolation of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Best Buddies is an international nonprofit, and we're dedicated to inclusion for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Um, one of our favorite employers, if I could say that today, I think I, I'm in the good audience to say that, is JLL. We, they first hired um, in New York in 2016, and they have actually now committed to being a national partner with Best Buddies. So they have, are hiring across cities nationally with our jobs program, and we are very, very thankful for their support. Neurodiversity is an umbrella term for alternative thinking styles. Um, and thinking styles such as dyslexia, ADHD, autism, and so on. The big thing that I want you to think of is not neurodiversity, is to think about everyone, right? And inclusion is first. How many people do you believe are neurodivergent? It's one in seven. Um, and this is often undisclosed uh, and undiagnosed. And most don't know that they are neurodivergent. And neurodivergent is the most comfortable term to use. 40% of self-made billionaires are dyslexic. Whilst 45% of people with dyslexia are unemployed. From CEOs to designers to all of us in this room, we all have a responsibility to change the narrative to something that challenges bias and misconceptions that drive change through inclusive design and leadership. Every space we design needs to help organizations and individuals to meet and exceed their potential. When you're looking for spaces that take care of us, you need spaces like this which are made with wooden environments, natural materials, soft corners, you start to think about how all these things come together, how the light works, how it's diffused, there's no glare, how the spaces can be without furniture or with all kinds of furniture. Now this can be used for meditation or dancing or working, but the spaces themselves, the detailing of them, can give you pause. The spaces they need in terms of their sensory impact, their minds, their thoughts, so I encourage you to really understand and look at how we integrate nature into space and to be aware of the spaces you're in. Sure, we can have some standardization, but also how can they be movable? You know, are you standardizing to something that is heavy and stolid and can't be moved and so on and so forth? Or is it something that has wheels and can be folded, can be combined, can be turned into different environments? And that gives every individual at any age and in any environment, the ability to be empowered and to work well. Ron, who couldn't be with us today, we've been working with him on HSBC as a shared client to really understand how to incorporate neurodiversity in design. And this is a live project on the boards. Designers are right here. Great, well thank you very much, Dr. Christine Bruckner and Lee Daniels. There's a goodie bag which have been provided by the South Fork Bakery. Um, they're a professional bakery on the east end of Long Island. They employ 16 workers with autism and they have provided a little leaving gift for you uh, today. Thank you to you all for coming along today. We've really appreciated your company.